So now in this video, I thought we'd take a quick look at a breadboard power supply right here. So there's uh, some variations, but for the most part, they work the same. So we will zoom back a little bit. It has pins here, and we can just plug it right into a breadboard as long as the pins are aligned properly. There we go. It shouldn't be too bad, but sometimes you may have to fiddle with it a little bit before it will fit. There is a little plus on the row where the uh, red line is. There's a little minus on the row where the blue line is on both sides, as you can see there. So that's how you will know the polarity if your breadboard does not have these lines for some reason. Of course, you need to power the power supply, and it just uses a typical 9-volt barrel jack right there. And this is the only part that you power it in right here and you don't want to go above 9 volts right there and now you can see we have power to the module there's a little yellow jumper here to adjust the voltage so it's to the left there the left two pins for 5 volts I could center it for off or you could put it to the right for 3.3 volts we got that right there these just uh, pluck right off and slide on really easily right there so I'll leave 3.3 to the right and 5 to the left and you may be able to tell the LED on the left side is brighter than the right side. We got, uh, looks like it went down a little bit with the current going through the LED. Let's move the LED. And you can see we got uh, 5 volts there. And then we'll check the voltage across this one. We should have about 3.3 volts. So about 3.2. It looks like it dips a bit with a load. So I didn't mean to pull the uh, resistor. But uh, let's look without the LED so I'm just going to the power rail and uh, we got 3.3 volts so I don't know if that's just because this is old or what that's uh, more of a dip than I would like to see so I grabbed another power supply actually the kit that this breadboard came out of a little kit and we'll see if the voltage is still holding and no looks like it's doing probably somewhere about the same as that other one so must just be a design thing where it cannot hold the full voltage if there's a current flowing. So we'll look and we should have 3.3. We do there. And uh, with no load, we can go to either side of the resistor really. Uh, almost 5 right there. We also have these pins here that we can power something. So you can just take a, a female jumper here. And doesn't matter, ground, 0 volts. Or these four pins right there doesn't matter which one you go to we're gonna go to the uh, short lead the cathode of the LED always make sure you wire it in the right direction or it won't light up and then we'll take a, a red one so we can either go to 5 volts if we want to power at 5 volts although it looks like the module doesn't hold that voltage terribly well but you'll get about 5 volts and uh, there you can see we got the LED lit we could also just go to uh, 3 volts 3.3 I should say Right there, 3.3 volts. LED is not quite as bright. And finally, we have a USB plug right here. And just take the uh, USB. This particular one has alligator clips at the end. Do not short circuit these. That's how I fried these breadboards in the past. I accidentally short circuited them. They do not take short circuits well. They do not have short circuit protection unless they've upgraded them since uh, I bought these a long time ago. But in any case, there you can see, we can power something directly with the USB right there. So I'm going to unplug it again before I accidentally short circuit something. But uh, pretty straightforward. number of different ways here you can uh, power stuff. Mostly though it's made to uh, snap into the breadboard. This one goes in really nicely. So in case that's it for this video. They do not come with the adapter there. The uh, 9 volt adapter. I only got one kit I think. That included a 9 volt adapter. A big kit. Generally you just get these breadboard power supplies. You're going to have to figure out where to get an adapter on your own. And uh, I don't even use these anymore. I use the bench power supply. You've seen in my other videos. So that's really about it though. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos. Make a donation if you can. I have links down in the description and probably the comment section. But uh, just watching videos helps a ton too. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video.